Very special moment we've been looking forward to this morning. Living a life with purpose following one of the most horrific nightmares in history. This week is Holocaust Awareness Week, and this evening a Holocaust survivor will be sharing his story at the Chandler Center for the Arts. But first, we are privileged to have Ben Lesser here in studio with us, who wrote the book, Living a Life That Matters, From Nazi Nightmare to American Dream. And Ben, thank you so much, sir, uh, for being here. As I was looking at your life story, 1928, you're born in Poland. Correct. And you bring with us... Uh, some beautiful pictures that your sister Lola painted of her memories of those times. Correct. She, yes. was, she was the only sibling and the only member of your immediate family to survive. Yes, only the two of us survived mm -hmm. out of family of seven. So we read the books and we see movies, but it's, it's very rare to have the opportunity to be with somebody who survived the atrocities of the concentration camps and managed to live a life. You came to the United States in the 1940s and, and built a successful career for yourself. Um, how important is it and how painful is it for you to still think of those times and share these stories? It's very painful. I have sleepless nights many times, but I dedicated my life to do this. And uh, I founded a foundation called Zahor, which means remember, Zahor Holocaust Remembrance Foundation. And the mission in my life is to keep this world from acquiring amnesia. Mm -hmm. We Holocaust survivors will not and cannot allow the history of the Holocaust to be distorted in any way or minimized. Mm -hmm. It is what it is, and this is my mission. I want to continue letting the world know what has happened. Mm -hmm. To prevent it from ever happening yes, again. Yes, imagine six million of us, mm -hmm. a million and a half of whom were children. Mm -hmm. We talk about six million. I be, everyone knows it's a big number. I'll illustrate it to you. If you were to take six million people, lay them head to toe, they would stretch from Washington, I, no, from Washington, D.C., mm -hmm to San Francisco and back again. Wow. And to put it another way, uh, the, the Dallas football stadium is the largest football stadium in the world. It's holding 85,000 people. Picture 70 of those mm -hmm. killed. Killed. It's it's unfathomable, and that's why we struggle to comprehend the right. gravity of it because we kind of emotionally can't take it. But we do need to uh, listen to to these stories and and know the heartbreak and the triumph that has come from surviving, even though you still have must deal with so much grief. So I know tonight um, you'll be able to speak much more extensively uh, to an uh, your audience and, and make sure that they understand and keep these stories alive. And as fewer of you are here to tell these stories, the main thing that you want people to take away from interacting with you is what? Having hope? Having truth? Truth. Uh, this world is trying to minimize it, and if not to do, deny it completely. And this is what bothers me. And I know as we Holocaust survivors, you know, get fewer and fewer. Um, someday this world is going to try to forget it. Oh, it never happened. It's a myth. In fact, there's some Nazis today that are saying that. Mm -hmm. So we cannot, and, and I, I feel very strong about this. I have to keep this world from acquiring amnesia and let them know exactly to what extent 
the suffering. The human, the human, um, the Nazis were not born monsters. You know, there are people like you and I, and what hatred and propaganda can do to human mind and twist them into becoming a monster. Mm -hmm. So the hatred has to stop any form of hatred. And in recent years, has it been more painful for you as, as we see documentations of a resurgence of anti-Semitism and, and other acts of hate against people because of their color of their skin or their faith? Exactly. Exactly. Hate or love are both contagious. So choose love. Why hate? That has to be eradicated completely. That is beautiful. They are both contagious, and we will choose love. And thank you so much for doing the work that you have been doing. Um, you can get his book. You can visit the website. There's so many videos of you speaking and telling your story um, over the years. Yes. And, and so it's a really great. Uh, you have created a trove uh, of treasures that can be shared um, for, for many, many years to come. So tonight, Chandler, Center for the Arts, we appreciate you. It's an honor to meet you. Likewise, Thank you so much, sir. likewise, Olivia. Thank you so much.